Welcome to another exciting video about your favorite class that has some serious anger management problems. This is my guide for the Fury Warrior for patch 10.1 of Dragonflight. In this video, we're going to equip you with the skills to master the art of Fury Warrior in just 5 minutes or less. Whether you're an experienced warrior looking to level up your game, or a new player looking to learn the ropes, this guide is perfect for you. We'll be sharing valuable tips, going over talent tree builds, the rotation, proper stats, and even all the gems and enchants that you'll need to master Fury. But before we dive headfirst into this guide, be sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. By doing so, you'll join our amazing community, staying up to date with all the future guides, exciting gameplay, and just the latest news for World of Warcraft. As a quick disclaimer, I just want to mention that because of the nature of these kinds of videos, I don't have enough time to go over every single topic for the spec, but I do try to do my best to distill everything that you guys need to know about these guides. So, with all that being said, let's get started. When it comes to the stats for a Fury Warrior, you generally want to focus on Haste and Mastery over Crit and Verse. Now keep in mind that this is just a generic stat weight, don't blindly follow this. To truly master or figure out what stats you guys need to chase after, you really just need to sim yourself. Simming your character is going to be the best way to figure out if something is actually an upgrade for you or not. There are many ways to sim your character, and I highly recommend using the combination of simulation craft and raid bots. If you don't know how to sim yourself, I've actually made a video on how to do this, and it explains exactly how to do it. It's actually really easy, and I will leave a link for that in the description for this video. Your talent build is going to be different depending on if you guys have the new tier set for piece or not. So real quick, I just want to show you what talent build you guys should be using if you do not have the four piece. It's basically the old talent builds that you guys have probably been using up until now. So this is going to be the one for Mythic Plus, and then this is going to be the one for Raiding Single Target. And now let's talk about the new set bonus for our tier. So the two piece is going to have Rampage Damage and Critical Strike Chance increased by 10%, and then for the four piece, Rampage causes your next Bloodthirst to have a 10% increased critical strike chance, deal 25% increased damage, and generate 2 additional rage, stacking up to 10 times. So because of Bloodthirst now playing a major part in our new rotation, we need to adjust our talent tree to play around this ability. Again, remember that this talent build isn't used if you do not have the new 4 piece. So now let's look at our Mythic Plus build with the new tier set. So we're going to be picking up things that are going to be buffing our Bloodthirst. So we're going to pick up Improved Bloodthirst, Focus and Chaos, Cold Steel, Hot Blood, and Bloodborne. Since this is still an AoE focused build, we're going to be picking up Improved Warwind and Meat Cleaver. And because the talent Bloodborne increases our bleed damage, instead of going with Spirit Bastion, pick up Thunder's Roar because it's going to put a bleed on the target. And now let's look at the single target raid build. So this is the build that you guys should be using for pure single target fights when you're raiding. With this build, we're not going to be picking up Thunder's Roar, instead we're keeping Spirit Bastion mainly because we're not going to be picking up Bloodborne. Rather, we want to make sure that we pick up Massacre to help our execute damage. And now let's talk about the rotation. Fury's rotation is very simple to follow, and it flows pretty well. So let's take a look at our single target rotation first. So for your opener, the goal is you want to hit Enraged as soon as possible. So it's going to look something like this. You'll pop Avatar, Recklessness, and then charge into the target, hit Ravager, Rampage, Onslaught, Bloodthirst, Spear Bastion, Rampage, and then start your single target rotation. Pop Avatar immediately before Recklessness, cast Recklessness on cooldown, Enrage using Rampage, Tenderize, or Bloodthirst if the buff's not active, pop Ravager, Rampage, Bloodthirst to apply Cold Seal Hot Blood, Execute whenever available, Onslaught, Raging Blow, Bloodthirst as a filler when you're out of Raging Blow charges, Whirlwind as a filler when nothing else is available. When we look at our AoE rotation, it all revolves around Improved Whirlwind. So the idea behind this is when you cast Whirlwind, it's going to make all of your other single target abilities strike up to 4 additional targets. And in order to maximize our burst damage for AoE situations, we need to follow a strict step-by-step -step guide for popping our abilities. So when you have all your cooldowns ready, you're going to pop Whirlwind, Bloodthirst, Onslaught, or Rampage, whichever you use to hit and rage, then Avatar, Recklessness, Ravager, Thunderous Roar, Rampage, Onslaught, and then you're going to go about your normal single target rotation while weaving in Whirlwinds every four abilities. 
And then here's a list of all of your enchants and consumables that you guys should be using as Fury. The big change here is that we've got a new weapon enchant called Shadow Flame Wreath. It's probably going to be pretty expensive because it's still pretty new, so if you guys can't afford it, just use the alternate Wafing Devotion. And that is where we're going to conclude our video. We hope you guys enjoyed our Fury Warrior Guide for patch 10.1. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, I will see you guys later.